Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Sunday night. Time for another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being through over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, gang. How's it all going out there? Woo! Woo we had one gorgeous day in Ohio, Jay. Probably our last. <laughs> oh, gotta be. So you mean it wasn't snowing nor raining today? No, no. It was sunny and 65. It was just beautiful today. Beautiful. But next week, looking scary. There is a chance of some snow in the forecast. There is some. Yeah, so, it's just yeah. gorgeous here. Yeah. I don't know where we're at right now, but uh, of course, you know, this is leaf blowing time at our house because, we, you know, we live in the wood, woods pretty much and gorgeous you in the summer. Can you imagine you live in the woods and you 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 care about blowing leaves? Oh, yeah. well. You, you live in the woods. That, you that's what happens. Lawn. You got to get it off the lawn. No, you know? it's good fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say that, you know. See? Yeah. Sleet, and, sleet and snow tomorrow. Oh, God, not already. Ay, ay, ay. I got some gorgeous palm trees. Does anybody need any palms? I mean, every year I just, you know, toss them away. But they're they're so beautiful by the end of the summer that if, if anybody near me needs uh, palms and wants to bring them in their, their house, um, you know, let me know. I've got a few here I'll be glad to give you. That's for sure. Well, Mommy's riding high on our guardians. Oh, geez. Yeah, I hope we beat those damn Yankees tonight. Actually, the game is going to be going up during our show. So I do have my. Oh, yeah, so there's ever a point where mom's like, and this carol. <laughs> yeah. So if I do wander off, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> but what what an ending last night. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you saw it, but uh, you know, go, going into the ninth inning, we were down two runs. And uh, little by little, we don't just get in the single, single, singles and bases loaded. And the next thing we know, we won. And I said, oh, my God, talk about a fairy tale ending. So that was exciting for mom, you know. Listen, I've been a, 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 a you know sports fan since I was five years old. I was the first born uh, a, you know child in the family, and my dad dad was a sports fanatic, and uh, so you know just rubbed off, of course, on me. And you know I was five years old when the Indians last won the World Series, so it'd be nice to all of a sudden this young team do go ahead, go ahead and at least win the American League championship. That would be cool. So I love sports. You all know that. So you know I'm a, I'm a sports fan. Love, love, love it. What have you been up to? What have you guys been doing? Uh, enjoying the nice weather. We went out for drinks last night, and the bar had – there. the whole wall, the whole front of the bar is just open. Oh, nice. And so, you know, so the inside is the outside, the outside is the inside. It was just gorgeous last oh, night. That's nice. Yeah, I can't, so. can't hate that. And right right now, you know, uh, where I live, you know, they have the uh, the cider mills are going because of making fresh cider, and they make apple fritters. Jason, have you ever had an apple fritter? Oh, yeah. Okay, because they, they're about – that big around you guys are humongous and just delicious. And I bought some yesterday. Just couldn't resist. They were so good. Really, really yummy. So if you've never had an apple fritter, I highly recommend you try one. If you're, you know, in the areas that make them, not every, not all, not all areas do have them. I think it's got to kind of be in, you know, where they have cider and so forth. But they're good. They're <laughs> well, good. I don't, I don't know if there's any big items coming tonight, but we'll see. Oh, well, you never know. Well, maybe. <laughs> Uh, oops, I didn't mean Whoop. to do it that way. I meant to do it uh, whole, mm -hmm. uh, What you got? There we go. There we go. I, I was hitting the wrong buttons. All right, so here's what we're talking about tonight. Uh, buyers Carolers. And Mom did a show years back on yeah. Buyers Carolers because that is one of her specialties, like... Like I have music, mom has buyers carolers. And the night I wrote the show up, <laughs> she was already asleep. And I said, uh, I said, Oh, let me know how many you had at the height when you wake up. And I was like, Okay, I was trying to calculate. I'm like, all right, I bet you she had 600. I was off by half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad at one time. I, I had about eleven hundred of them. Eleven hundred carolers. Yeah. yeah. I so, still have, I've kept some. But I've, I've sold a lot now because, you know, it's time to move on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, why are we talking about it tonight? Well, we're going to show you right now what's hot and what's not. So, but, how, yeah. but how did we get to this point? Oh, well, mother, uh, mom was bidding. Uh, well, I have to think. I forget, Jason, who told you about it? This auction. Yeah. Hold on. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, Start I'm talking. Sorry. I've forgotten who it was. Um, and, and. Uh, it was a, an auction in my area, and they said, you know, maybe Jason pass this on to your mom and let her take a look. So I go in, and I see, you know, a couple of lots of, of, of buyer's carolers, and then I see more and more and more. I, mean, I don't know how many lots there were, but, you know, there a bunch, a bunch. So, you know, 
we started bidding like crazy. And, um, you know, I had to, I had to, you know, be certain that I didn't go over the budget of, you know, what I know the value would be because you can't really see them as you see on that picture. They're in, they're there, but they're, they're not really displayed very well. So yeah, they're, they're all jammed into a box and it yeah. just says lot of. Yeah, right. And uh, so we ended up winning three lots of, of them. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I missed out on a couple things and I'll talk about that later. Um, I'm, oh, I was so upset that I lost the one thing. I'll, I'll tell you when we get to that part. But um, yeah, lot, lots of value still in buyers, carolers, everybody's. And, and I've seen a lot of posts you know, in the thrifting board uh, on things. And I do want to hit up on a couple points on, on things that I'm seeing because please don't hesitate to ask me if these are real or not real, if you're still not sure. Uh, hey, and, you know, some of them, some of the knockoffs do sell and you do make some money, but not as much as you would have if, if they were a buyer's caroler. And so. uh, it was Debbie Vandermark who alerted oh. us to, alerted me, told my mom, you know, anytime that you're looking uh, at any of the, uh, you know, because you can look at auctions around the country. Mm -hmm. Some will ship, others won't. But if you have friends, like, you know, uh, we're going to visit our friends, uh, Eric and Stephanie, next week in uh, Seattle. And I won 10, 12 tiki mugs at an auction, knowing we were coming up. And this was like two, three months ago, yeah. knowing we were coming up at, in the fall. I'm like, oh, okay. Again, he won some. I go, can you just pick them up, hold them for me? I'll throw them in my suitcase when I get up there. So, you know, if you see something in a cool auction somewhere where you don't live, if you've got a friend and if you're in the thrifting board, the Seeker Beach, you already got a bunch of friends around the country. Right. Say, hey, I'm going to bid on these. Can you pick them up? Well, Debbie was nice enough to say, hey, I know your mom's into carolers and also selling carolers. So send her this link to this auction and then we'll, we'll see how she did. We'll and then that. anytime, anytime you get a lot of items and you go through them. I'm I'm working through six thousand videotapes right now. I know what's hot and what's not right now. A exactly. Yeah. I know it all. And then mom, same thing. She got all these uh, new carolers to to sell. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. as she's going through them, she goes, "Ah, eh, this is worth not so much. Oh, this is worth a lot of money." You know. Right. Right. Exactly. And so, for those who don't know what a buyer caroler is, now mom's going to show you. Yes, we're we're going to learn the ins and outs um, of the buyers carolers again. Debbie, thank you so much, honey, for the for the lead because that was really phenomenal. Um, a quick a history, just to go back on Byers. Uh, it, back in the early, late 1960s, Joyce Byers, who was the creator of the Byers Carolers, uh, was uh, shopping for Christmas holidays for her family. And she just couldn't find anything that was cute or had warmth to it or anything. So so she, you know, in her little workshop, uh, put together a few of these carolers and just gave them to her immediate family. Well, they loved them. They thought they were fantastic. So the following year, she made a few more to put in the local store, which sold out immediately. So that was the start of the buyer's carolers. And uh, so she she talked her husband and her two sons into joining her, uh, you know, in making making the carolers. Uh, her first employee uh, was hired uh, in the 70s and they turned their garage into the workshop. You've seen it on Shark Tank, guys, you know, that kind of stuff. That's pretty much how this, you know, uh, uh, got going. Uh, right now they have over a hundred artisans that work on the carolers. The carolers may look alike, but they really each have their own personal touch because they give the artisans the liberty to add the, a bow here or a, a scarf here or a wreath, whatever they want to do. So that's totally up to them. And, you know, so they, they have their own little, uh, you know, knack of, of putting on what, whatever they like. Um, one thing I want to, before I forget, because I know once we get into this, I'll probably forget. If you need to repair your carolers, uh, they do have a repair kit. That has the green paint, the black paint, and the flesh colored paint. So, and that's only five bucks, you guys. So, if you need to do that, go ahead. I've done a little repair work here. If it's a major repair, um, you can send them off to them, contact them. They, they, it used to be all free. Now they've gotten so big that you know it, it just it just doesn't work that way. So, uh, but they will do some things for free, or some things they will charge you a minor fee. So, if you have a major some uh, something broken or, or ruined on on a caroler contact them. They are very nice and very helpful. So don't forget that. Con uh, currently, they are producing over 500,000 carolers annually. Can you believe that, Jason? A half a million carolers annually. So that's really something. Uh, um, crazy. Crazy yeah. that people yeah. still love them. Right. I know. Uh, of course, they started off with just making Christmas type carolers. And over the years, uh, a lot of you know that they've added all the holidays and specialty ones, I mean, oh, I should have dug it out. I have an Ohio State one, you know, with the Ohio State sweater and the uh, pennant and all that kind of stuff. So there are, it, it's just, it's 
huge, you guys. It's just huge out there, you know, with it, with everything that is going on. Uh, they just have expanded and expanded. A lot of cities like uh, Ocean City, Maryland, where we go, they have carolers that say Ocean City on them, you know. So certain areas will have certain uh, uh, carolers, you know, pertaining to their their area, you know, like if it's a vacation spot or something like that. So, you know, that, that all happens. So what I want to do before I get into showing you, you know, what, what I did get, I want to show you um, some bases because that's very, very important. This is one of Jason's favorite carolers that I have to leave to him in my will. Ah, that <laughs> was horseman. Okay. Pretty much you see this base today. Mostly green, but as I said in the thrifting board, someone said, just look, they're all, they all have green bases. No, they do not all have green bases. The majority have green bases, but sometimes when you get into the beach people, they have sand-colored bases. So remember that. Remember the faces. Oh, this guy's not no face. <laughs> <laughs> remember the faces. Oh, yeah. not him. Remember the faces. Oops. Uh, so remember that. Now, what I want to show you, because we know that, you know, the, the, they will have their tag on the bottom. And the only thing I'm so disappointed about that they never did was put the name of what the character is on their tag. I wish they would have done that. Now, if you go to the early, late 70s or early 80s, these are the very, very early uh, bases that were very bumpy, valuable. This adds a lot of money to the caroler if you find them with the early bases, everybody. And look at that old tag. Can you see that, Jason? Ooh, let's see where. Spin it. Spin it. Would that be better? Oh, wait, I got it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That one come closer. Angle down a little bit. Angle down. There we go. There we right go. there. Yeah. So as you can see, they 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 didn't even have the year on it uh, in the early days. It just said buyer's choice, and and that was it. So, um, you know, so do, the bases are important, everybody. If you see them on a, a wooden stand, they are not a buyer's carolers. And, and most of the time you'll see those on, on the uh, on that. Um, so I think I think that's everything I wanted to hit before we go any further. Um, OK, let's put that one up and let's start with what's not hot. OK. All right. So what I did, I sent Jason the links uh, <laughs> that's cute, uh, of these and um, and we'll go through these. OK, everybody. All right, the first one, Jason, I have is the milkmaid. Okay, I, 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 the reason I pulled this up, you guys, can you, will you please look at this first picture? <laughs> yeah, this is the opening photo. They yeah. cropped the background out and it's backwards. I know, I mean, I, you know, and and they put it on auction. I'm, I am going to advise you to never, 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 never put your carolers on auction. I cannot believe, as I was going through this to get this ready for you guys, the, the number of carolers that they've put on auctions that are selling for a dollar, four dollars, five dollars. I mean, and then the shipping, they're, they're, they're definitely losing money. I don't know why they're doing it. I have never put a caroler on auction. Never. I put my price on there and just hang around. The, probably the lowest I will go is maybe five or six dollars under my asking price because you'll get it. You will get it. Sometimes you have to hang around for a while, but you will get it. So a dollar for it. Why, why, why even bother? You know, yeah. this makes no great, sense. Great, great arbitrage right now, a lot of, Yeah, right now there's a lot of uh, milkmaids for sale. Um, normally, she, you know, her value would probably be around 25 bucks right now, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, the other thing that I think I've always mentioned to everyone is try not to spend more than $10 uh, per caroler, okay? 10 and under. Um, most of mine have been between five and eight and nine, somewhere somewhere in there. But 10, 10 and under, because like I say, if you're only... Well, that that's your loss money. But if you're only selling for twenty five dollars on some of them, then you know it's not not worth your effort. So, all right, next one, captain uh, with the ship. Now the captain himself, he's worth bucks, you guys. And these fools <laughs> did a bid and sold them for ninety nine cents. You could have so so bought this for eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, and then turned around and flipped it. Exactly, exactly. I guess mom should be paying more attention to these people with their crazy bids because. You know, money can be made. And the, this, you know, and the only reason I'm putting these in, I just want you to see where these these bids, the auctions are going, and they're just not going well, that's for sure. Because this caroler probably would have brought some decent money because uh, he's holding the ship. I would estimate him around a fifty dollar caroler, probably. So just like, yeah, that's all I can say is just just don't do that. All right, one more with a bid, and this is from uh, Christmas Carol. This is the ghost of, uh, uh, well, the spirit present of the present. And uh, as you can see, he sold for a whopping two bids of a dollar and a quarter. And, you know, what can I say, everybody? I think uh, you got the message on this. 
don't do bids, please. And especially, you know, a lot of people like to start their bids out at 99 cents. Well, when it comes to carolers, it doesn't work that way. It's just not a good, good, good choice to do. Okay. So in case you're new. Yeah. The only time an auction can be successful is if it's a rare item that two people are going to, the minimum of two people are going to fight for. Oh. And uh, they're both watching that week. So although this is old, 1989, it's not the rarest thing in the world. And so these people on August 28th were hoping that there would be this giant bidding war, and there wasn't. No. You know, uh, it works great on very, very, very rare pieces of music, tiki mugs. Right. But this is kind of a, a mass commodity, not like tube socks, let's say, but right. it, it's just not the right thing for an auction. So, you know... you. If you're gonna auction it for some reason, you gotta stick up your butt that you gotta auction, you gotta auction it the lowest you want to take. And I know the lowest you want to take is not a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, if you're going to do an auction, and, and I don't know why you would start at $25. At least, yeah. At least, you know, you know, and go from there, everybody. Just you know, don't, don't, don't do what these people have done because that's just not not good business, that's for sure. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I don't know where that one came from, Jace. So, no. see. <laughs> I only got them from links that yeah. you sent me. Because <laughs> the next one I had was. Uh... Hold on. I'll oh, yeah, no, no. That's, that is correct. That is correct. I'm sorry. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about here, there's a lot of uh, carolers that are the holiday shoppers. They are very low on the totem pole. And this is, uh, for instance, this is a man shopper who's just got a, you know, a gift and holly in his hat. And, uh, and he, he, what, did he sell for 20 or was, was the 20 bucks stretched out? No, we are saying, Michelle, do not auction them. No, no. Do not. No, no. no Carolers no. are not auction materials. Not no. auction material. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and shoppers, at best, of course, it depends what they're holding. If it's plain like this particular one, 20 bucks, maybe 25 max. On those, you know, even even with the year, Jason, because what did I have him at? Nineteen ninety-seven. Yes, he's old, but he's he's not exciting, and people are looking for the ones that are a little, a little bit more different, you know, when you get to that. Okay, and next one is uh, old Bafana, I believe. Tons of her. She, I don't know why that they must have made a ton of her, and she's just not a big mover, you know, unless you pick her up for a buck and you can sell her for twenty. That's about the most you're going to get out of Bafana. Sometimes a little bit less. Um, so you know, watch out for her. She just doesn't bring in the big money. Okay. All right. Um, this was a, a doll maker. Uh, th th these are known as the uh, the Cries of London. Uh, Cries of London has a lot of shoppers holding different things. Like I said before, some sell real well and some don't bring money at all. This particular one just doesn't bring you much money. 20 bucks, you know. You know, so like I say, if you're spending five, you're only getting 20 in return. You know, I, I don't know how far you want your margin to be, but... I like on virus carolers, I like mine to be a little bit bigger. I'm glad yeah. you said that because the general prevailing prevailing thought in a lot of tiki group, uh, tiki, tiki's on my brain, a lot <laughs> of thrifting groups that is in the thrifting board of the secret beach, people just don't understand time is money. Mm -hmm. And so someone found black diamond Disney VHS the other day, but they were sealed <laughs> and still sealed ain't worth their time. No. They spent three bucks each. And the Bambi, on average, was selling for $12. And me and a couple of other people were trying to explain, it just isn't worth your time to clear four bucks when you're right. done. Right. And so many people go, it's still money. That's the worst way to think about selling online. Because yeah. I had that same thought when I first started. Way back before, sure. there was no one teaching, no YouTube. I was just finding my own way. But one day, I said, you know... It takes just as much time to list a $20 CD as it does a $3 CD. And I was selling a shit ton of $3 CDs. Right. But I got rid of the $3 stuff and, and focused on higher ticket items. And I constantly sell more with less work. So just because it's money doesn't mean it's the right money. The margin has to be there. All right. It, for sure. Ginny, I, I see Ginny's comment about the one person charging $17.99 for shipping. I ship, I, I charge $9.99 for shipping on mine, everybody, and put them in a shoebox. And, and they don't weigh they don't weigh anything. No, no, they don't. And I so I, I always send them priority and uh I, I probably make a dollar or two myself because it, it you know they don't weigh anything. So, you know, don't overcharge on the shipping. You don't have to. You really don't. Okay. All right. So 
And then yeah, this is just a woman in a striped shirt. Kind of boring as far as I'm concerned, because there's so many good ones now, now that, you know, what they have made uh, over the years. And so with her, uh, they just they had $19 crossed out. So you could, as what I'm trying to get across is the shoppers, try and stay away from the shoppers because they just don't do it. Okay. Um, this one of Mrs. Claus sitting in the bench never has been a big seller, Jason. I used to have one of these and, and, and I, I think I sold mine for like 25 bucks. Even with the bench, I thought, oh, it would bring some extra money, but it did not. She's just not. Uh, oh no, they did already. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she's just not a big mover, guys. So you know, stay away from her unless, unless you pick it up for. And it, and it comes with the bench. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And Boy, she, people do not like this one. You get, no. you get an accessory too, and they don't. Care. I know. I know. This one really surprised mom, but I can remember when I sold mine. Did not bring much money. Um, this here is uh, uh, children. Children. I don't buy a whole lot of children. Um, they don't bring you as much money as the adult carolers do, um, you know, unless you get them for a song. Uh, as you can see, she only brought in 10 bucks, everybody. And, um, you know, so I, I just I, I just don't do the kids. I just stay away from the kids. I, I prefer to, you know, work with the, with the adult ones because there's more money. She's cute and everything, but, you know, just not the money. Not the money. And then the golfer, Jason, mom had a set of these uh, back in the day. And uh, they, for some reason, uh, people, <laughs> the golfer, pe golfing people don't care about carolers because <laughs> they don't bring good money. Now, look at the original price here. You know, yeah, that's, that's a hell of a loss. <laughs> yeah, I had, the, I had the man and the woman. And I can remember when I sold them, I did not get a lot of money for them. So I'm just, you know, just throwing that out there that from experience, I know that that one does not bring you a whole lot of money. Now, uh, Linda asked earlier if there was fakes. And there are. Mm -hmm. So uh, Charlene in the thrifting board had found these. She wasn't sure if they yep. were real carolers. But uh, as you can see, no, these their mouths are way different. Here, you got one handy. Not the headless horseman, but the other one. Yeah. How about a witch? Yeah. Put it right up close. Oh, I can't get her. Uh, she's so tall. There you go. Close enough. Yeah, bring her down a little bit. A little bit. Uh, there we go. There we go. You can see how different the mouth is. Yeah. And these will be on plain wood bases. Right. Right. And and, and you know you 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 should have the label. Yeah. I mean, the newer ones all have the labels. Everybody, you know. So. And if, even if the old one doesn't have the label, it'll be on the bumpy green base. That's right. That's so right. So there you go. So yes, yeah. there are there are fakes. And, and as soon as you know, as soon as you know, a buyer's caroler, and you see the fakes, and you're walking through the thrift store, you're like, oh, that is horrible. Oh, God, the Yankees are scoring like crazy. Looks like we're not winning tonight. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go with what's hot. All right. Um, okay, I have talked about these before, but I will always, always remind everybody um, the spiral staircase. I have spent big money on these because I know I can make big money on these. Uh, I think I've bought, I bought them for 50 bucks. I bought them for 75 bucks. But as you can see, uh, well, that we got the $2.99 crossed out, but they're probably very close to 250 275 i don't think they probably would go under because the spiral staircases always bring good money so i'm never afraid to spend the bigger money because i know i'm going to get a good return on the spiral staircase uh just one of those things that they didn't make a lot of them and when you come across them pick them up gang pick them up because uh yeah you're going to make bucks on the spiral staircase now this is this next one jason this must be a, a relatively newer the display riser Oh, well, first, answer Aaron's question. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think collectors like him? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, I do. Yes. You know, uh, the early ones, like I say, it, it, it'd be really tough to, to have them, but all the all the new ones should have the sticker. Yep. And did you see the shipping on these stairs? I did not. Oh, $147. Were, oh, what? Oh, they're out of line, you guys. What? Way out of line. Yeah. Yeah, no. They, they, <laughs> that, no. <laughs> that that staircase probably would sell, because I would, I would do standard shipping. And I would probably charge them around $30, $35. That's all. I mean, who? So someone actually bought this with this nutty shipping. Yeah. See? So if they want it, well, it's just like when I sold that blow mold for $500 and they paid $280 in shipping. I mean, if you want it, you're going to spend it. Yeah. But look around. You know, there, there is definitely, uh, you know, definitely deals out there. So this must be relatively on the newer side. This is a display riser. And as you can see, brings a uh, decent money, you guys. Uh, yeah, see, it is a lot of quarters, um, you know, so keep your eyes open for those. You know, that might be something, you know, you'd see at a garage sale and wouldn't think twice about it. But definitely this is big bucks, big bucks. So I get it. I would, I would think that they probably didn't go lower, the, lower than 250 at the most, Jason, on that, on the sell. 
Okay, and these, oh, I have to tell you, because I missed out on this on the on the auction, <laughs> I'm, I've got my bid, and I'm the winning, 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 and, and, and this particular auction, when it goes down to under a minute, you can't see it, the clock ticking by, and I thought I had it. I, yeah, I said, oh, I got it, and uh, and don't you know, that other person slipped in a last-minute bid, and so, it didn't So that auction the isn't, a, isn't a soft close? No, oh. no, and that made me mom, mom mad, too, because I thought I had it. And I had bid, in fact, you guys, I had bid, um, I was up to 55 or $65 on this at the time. And uh, and as you can see, uh, this one particular one, it was 165 crossed out. But you, as you get closer to Christmas, that's a $200 item. That, now, you've sold this before, right? Yes, I have. I've sold about did, two or three of these. Did it cost $130 to ship? No way. No <laughs> way. I, I don't understand what's going on with these sellers. No, I, I, I mean, that just blows my mind. I, I, I don't know. I, and I, as someone pointed out, yeah, Debbie pointed out, they're paying wow. the final value fee on the shipping cost too. Oh, like, right, right, just crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, people are desperate to get these items because you don't see that many. But that that shipping is doesn't have to be. But okay, not, could this <laughs> listing be any worse? I, that's why I put it in. I mean, it's, it's a hot item, but still. I look mean, at, look at their title. Look at the title. It doesn't even say it's a white door. A fully functioning adult put in three, four sideways pictures and went, yep, that's good. Yeah. Now, this is one of the accessory pieces, and I, I sold mine last year. Uh, it's it's very heavy, very heavy door. And uh, and I think I probably, I got around 100, 100 and a quarter for that at the time. So This um, is the only picture right side up, and it's got the dog in it. Yeah. I mean, isn't this awful? I had to show everybody that, Jason. But I, it's I, over $70. <laughs> What's the matter with people? I don't get it. I don't get three, but I can't believe they sold it with just the three words. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I would imagine that was a happy yeah. accident. Someone was looking around. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this must be a newer one. This is the mummy and, uh, the mummy brings some, <laughs> some good cool. money as you can see. Wow. Uh, he, uh, he sold for what? 115 bucks. Yeah. Um, oh, any awesome. Halloween will give you great money. Uh, as I showed you these two here, you guys. Uh, this witch hit right now, she probably bring me about a hundred and a quarter. And the, and the headless horseman, I didn't look up Jason, but he's probably around a hundred bucks. You know, they're still good. They're still good ones to, uh, to have. So any Halloween, do not pass up Halloween. Don't pass up Easter. Don't pass up uh, July 4th items. Um, what else we got? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is really good. Really good. Yes. Okay. Next item. Okay. Always look for the accessory pieces, everybody. Um, I'm going to show you a couple little things here. Uh, I, this is my, an Easter one that I have that I've kept. And it has the tag right there, as you can see. Accessory pieces bring you some nice money. This show it again. You didn't really show it. Oh, there I'm you. sorry. Yeah, this, this particular item, which is an Easter basket with a little Easter chick there. There we go. Yeah, this would probably bring you around $40, $45. Just this one little piece, Jace. More than a caroler in some instances. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah very much so. Um, whoops. Oh no, I lost my beer. <laughs> That's right. I got it. I got it. Okay. And then there's a lot of little white uh, picket fences, things like that. You know, these usually sell for 25 to 30 bucks. So if you're, you know, if you are picking them up, the snowmen bring you good money. Um, but as you can see that assortment there, Jason went to see the assortment, the assortment sold for 95 bucks. So that was good. You know, there's the, the, the lamp, you got a, a sleigh, the snowman. Yeah. I mean, you know, so, yeah, you can get a few pieces and put them together and sell them as the lot. Yeah. So that would work really, really well. My God, why is this $80? Do I have $80 shipping? What? I don't know. But, but what I don't what know. is happening? Are we in some weird dimen other dimension right now? I don't, I don't know. Understand. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. None of this stuff weighs anything. No. Oh, no. If, if that weighed two pounds, it'd be a miracle. Yep. All the accessories yeah. are marked, right, Mom? Yes, they are. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's yep. see. Yeah, because I just showed you. Here's my, you know, based on my, my little Easter basket. But yeah, usually all the yep. accessory pieces are marked as well. Mm -hmm. So when you find your buyer's carolers, uh, caroler or accessories, just do normal shipping and you'll you'll win the sale every time. Oh, absolutely. We're seeing. Yeah, I mean these people are they're, they're crazy. All right, this uh, is the baseball player. Um, I ha yeah, I have a baseball player too, Jason. Yeah, I do have one upstairs, and uh, he's a Hall of Fame baseball player. And as you can so see, he sold for eighty-five bucks. So that's a that was a nice uh, return, especially especially if we're picking him up for ten dollars and under. 
And he would have looked so much better on black. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, now this one blew my mind, and I, I, I have never seen the next time. Oh, Kim, that, that does, no, Kim, it shows the shipping to me, not overseas. When oh, yeah. you're looking at an eBay listing, the mm -hmm. shipping is to you. Right. So if, if I would have bought this baseball player, it would have been $12.50 to me. So overseas has nothing to do with it. It's what you where you where you sit. Um yes. Okay. So the next item is Hansel and Gretel, which I've never seen them before. This was new for mom. And uh, so I don't know if it's one of their newer calendars, but they sold for 140 bucks, everybody. So that's a nice no, there, there, there's a uh a, a case where the, the children would sell well because they are a specific character, you know, rather than just a kid with with you know winter clothing and so forth. But the Hansel and Gretel sold, sold big money. I kind of dig how they, you see now here, I kind of dig how they use the buyer's choice box for their yes. background a little bit. Yeah, I have that sign. And I think I'm, when dad goes to, you know, make, take my pictures, I'm going to use that. Yeah. Well, I'll have to say sign not included. Or, or, or even just uh, some not too busy wrapping paper. We did that with Christmas stuff oh, last year. And it looked really cool. That's a very good idea. Mm, I'm uh, does it show the year on the bottom of Hansel and Gretel? Let's I, take a look. Let's take a look. I would believe no. It, it would be real tiny, Jason, right here on the side. So there it is. 2000 and is that, say, 11? Four. 14. Yes, what yes. 11. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The new ones, all the new ones have the year on them. Like I said, the only thing they don't have is what it is. But, but that does say Hansel, but that was the sticker from the store, probably where the buyer's choice sticker is not there. Okay. All right. And as I mentioned, Thanksgiving, Native American, excuse me, Indians uh, sell very well. Um, I have, uh, I sold all mine, Jason. They went, they, I got good money for all of mine. Um, and this particular pairing sells over $96. So if you're only paying five bucks a piece, that's 10 bucks. Or even if you pay 20 bucks, still a nice return. Do they come in marked boxes? No, they do not. All carolers are sold uh, alone. Uh, they do have the boxes, but you have to pay extra for the boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this blew mom away. <laughs> I could not believe this because I have not seen this young this girl. Here's a here's a, again uh, a child. So this one brings super good money with the umbrella. And what is she? she what she three hundred dollars? You guys, she sold. For. And I was looking at her today. There was there's a bunch of souls, all like. Two and a quarter to three hundred dollars. Yes, yes. So this is a goodie. Well, if I ever find that one, I'd be thrilled to death. Thrilled to death. Uh, one thing I didn't uh, show pictures of, Jason. I want to mention what's hot. Uh, remember when Mom talked? I've talked to before about the Kindles. The Kindles are the, these little people um, that they make, and the, this particular one is a St. Patrick's Day guy holding his beer, and they bend and their arms go, and you can do all kinds of different things with them. Uh, and you'll see he's marked on his feet. OK, and uh, these ki the Kindles sell for around 45 to 50 bucks. You get very good money on the Kindles and there's all kinds. I mean, I've got Easter bunnies. I've got, you know, lots of holiday ones holding uh, Christmas tree lights and uh, a Christmas tree. And then we've got the bakers and it goes on and on and on. So the smaller Kindles in here, let me take a good look at the face again, everybody. OK, can you see that? Yeah, very similar, you know, to the others. But uh, but that, but that the mouth's not open. Did you see that, Jace? Yep. He's not singing. Okay. All right. So Kindles. Beer, beer drinking carolers. Yes. So, 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 so Lori says she's never seen the Kindles. I still have a lot of Kindles left. And in fact, I've got a bunch that I am going to be putting up for sale. Okay. All right. Let's look at the hall part of this. Okay. All right, everybody. I got my list. Now, what I ended up, I bought the three lots, you guys, and these carolers are. Uh, the, for the amount of carolers I have and the amount I spent, I spent $8 per caroler, okay? All right. Now, this here, and I, I, even, I even contacted the auction company because they left out the cobbler bench. This is a cobbler. And as you can see, he's supposed uh -huh. to be sitting <laughs> on his bench. But as we've said before, pieces, parts, sell. If I was to sell the cobbler alone, I could get, uh, well, if I will be, uh, I should get around 40 bucks for him, okay? So he is the cobbler. And... He will not have a tag because the, the bench had the tag. So, uh, you know, he's, he's a Williamsburg character. But, uh, yeah, so I won't I won't be able to, you know, have a tag because of that. So that's him. Okay. Now, let's go with the girl. The five. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Let's see if I can get her out here. There she is. Okay. Now this is a. Uh, they had a lot of a um, lot of Williamsburg characters. Okay, everyone. This is the little girl holding the fife, and and oh, she is signed. I don't know how well we, we can see these, Jason. Does that show at all? Nah. Not really. Okay, they are signed back here. It's very small, but they're signed buyers. That will add five to ten dollar value on your caroler. Okay, when they are signed. Uh, this particular girl with the fife. Uh, she brings around forty-five dollars, so she's you know not not bad, not bad. Okay, the one who brings man with oh, this is a good one, Jason. Mommy's never had this one before. This is the William Williamsburg man with the with the I love the wig. That is so cool, and he's got his cane and he's in his brocade outfit here with his tricorn hat. Uh, he will bring around ninety bucks, everybody. Okay, all right, and let's go with this. Okay. Now, I do, this is, let's see, come on now. Okay, this is the uh, drummer from the Fife and Drum Corps. And I do have one other piece in another box. This is the fella playing the drum. And of course, tag on the bottom. There we go. And let's see, he is 2003. And he is also signed on the back. And he should bring around 85 bucks, everybody. Okay. All right. Then we have Minuteman Colonial Man. Okay. This is kind of cool. He's a Minute Man from Williamsburg. He's got his little sack and he's got the rifle. Okay. And the tricorn hat. And there's your base. And he is dated 2001. And I want, I, I just, the reason I wanted to show you uh, all of these things that I, ha that I have, you guys, is because of letting you know how many different varieties there can be. This is one of mom's favorite. This lady is holding a basket uh -huh. of blue crabs, uh, which I already have one, but if she doesn't sell, I wouldn't mind keeping the second one. Uh, they, you know, Jason, I'm surprised if they also have her uh, marked as, as Williamsburg. Now I bought mine in Ocean City, Maryland, where, where we go for blue crabs. Uh, the blue, the crab lady, and this one I could see in the picture, and I knew that she would be a big, a big seller because uh, she will sell for around $95 and she's also signed. Okay. All right. Then what do we have here? We have the tea vendor. Okay. Let's see where here he is. Okay. This is uh, one of the, a lot of, there's a lot of vendors in, in the, in the buyer's carolers. This particular one is uh, selling tea. Okay. And the tea vendor uh, is by, oh, Crabtree and Evelyn. Is it Evelyn? Evelyn? You can see that marked right there on the bottom, everybody. So made specifically for them. And this one will sell for around 50 bucks. Okay. And shopper. Okay. This here is a shopper. Now, this is a good shopper. Uh, there's also a Williamsburg tag. And I tell you guys, th these, these carolers are in mint condition. I was shocked. Just shocked at how, how nice they all are. So this particular shopper, he's got, uh, you know, a ham and pipes and all kinds of good stuff. And he will sell for around 70 bucks. Okay. All right. And then we have Betsy Ross with the flag. Okay. Uh, Betsy Ross still brings pretty good money, you guys. She is signed. And Betsy will sell for around 80 bucks. Okay. All right. Then we have. Williamsburg lady with the crook. Okay. Yeah, another little lady. Uh, she, she, this was this was supposed to have a lamb with it. So they were missing, oh, the, yeah, missing the lamb in the box. But she should still bring me uh, around $35. It, it would have brought more had I had the lamb, unless I can find a lamb, you know, which I will look for just in case. Then we have Paul Revere, which is cool. I like Paul. Paul, Paul is good. Uh, where did I mark him down? There he is, Paul Revere. Paul Revere is signed, and um, right there you see. This one has the name, Jason. Can you believe that? Yeah. I know. I was shocked at that one. But Paul will ring around between 45 and 50 bucks. Okay. All right. Next box number one. Okay. Let me reach over to the other. And I, I know uh, I have really good luck. Uh, I've been in contact with a lot of you, you know, or at different times. And some of you have found some wonderful, wonderful carolers. And, and it's, I just love to hear all of your success stories, everybody, because there's good, good money 
in these virus carolers. Okay, let's go to this box. All right, see what we got first here. Okay, this is a cute one. This is a Santa old man type shopper. He's got the pipe. He's got his bag of goodies. He's got peanuts in one bag. And he, uh, around 65 bucks, guys, on, on this young man. Nice beard. Yeah, isn't that a cool? He, he's different. See what I mean? I mean, how creative that the artisans get because you never know uh, what they're what they're going to do with that. Okay, grandmother shopper. Okay, this is a grandma shopper. And she is in green velvet. I used to have this one and I sold her. Uh, the grandma shopper, not as much because she doesn't have, she's not exciting, you know, as, as some people like to look, but she, around 30, 35 bucks. So yeah, not, not as much. Grandma, right? you are not exciting. No, she's just not. Um, now, we're, okay. So, the, uh, you know, the, the gentleman with the white uh, wig that I showed you, I think they, they split them up in two different boxes. This girl goes with him. Okay. Uh, this is the Victorian uh, woman with the fan, and she would sell a loan around $55. But I think I'm going to pair these up. So there's a, a couple other ones, you guys, that I'm going to pair up. So I definitely will pair this one up. Okay. Uh, the man with the right. Okay. We got that. Chopper with the goose. Okay. Where is she? Here she is. Okay. This is a woman shopper with the goose and her bread and her packages. She's really a cute one. Really, the detail on some of these are amazing. But as you can see, another Williamsburg tab. And this one here, uh, around $65, everybody. So don't don't sell your buyer's carolers too cheap. You know, that's that's we definitely don't want that to happen. Now, I'm probably going to pair this up because this is the the other guy uh, that matched the, the drummer. This is uh, with the one holding the rifle. And he, where is he? Where did it go? Oh, there he is. 75 bucks, you guys. So if I put these together, it's probably going to be like a $150 uh, combination on the buyers. Okay. All right. And then we have Mrs. Claus in her pet patriotic outfit. I really think this is adorable because you got the, the red velvet skirt and then you've got, you know, her and her stars jacket here and some candy canes. And we got the date on here. Mrs. Claus is 2003. And should bring around seventy five dollars on her. So you can see we got a lot of picture taken to do, Jace. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this is just a Williamsburg man holding a pipe, but because it's Williamsburg, he will bring around fifty five dollars, everybody. So he's kind of basic. Okay. All right. Let's get this gal. Now, believe it or not, I do have a milkmaid, so she was in the box. So I'm going to try and enlist her for around forty dollars. Uh, you know, as you saw, the other one went cheap, so but I'm going to push it for forty. And see how I do. Okay. All right. This is a woman with a basket of ornaments. Okay. Um, of 70 bucks. She's 2005, everybody. So around $70 on her. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put these two items, these kids together, because like I said, alone, they probably wouldn't bring that much. But as a pair, I'm going to try and list these both. The girl's got the. Uh, the toy horse, and he's got a bird cage and some other packages. The pair for $75. Okay. All right. And then also in this box, which I we just talked about accessories. Well, here we have the dog and the cat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Dog and a cat. And here's the bases marked. Originally, let's see, originally this one sold for $17. Uh, but by putting the cat and dog as a pair, I'll probably try and list them for around $30, $35. Okay. All right. So there's that. How are we doing on time? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> All right. Let's get that one out of the way. <clears throat> one more. One more. One more. Okay. Here comes the seven foot carolers. No, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do. Santa and Mrs. Claus. This is a cute duo, everybody. Okay, Santa's got his cookies. Mrs. Claus just got her muff. But putting the pair up for $130, everybody. Okay. All right. And we've got... This could either be known as St. Nicholas or a bishop. 
He's a little bit different. And he sells uh, around 65 bucks, okay? And he's what year is he? 2004. Okay, Santa with the toy bag. There's another. Now, now, now look at the beard on this Santa, Jason. Wow. Look what, look what they did here. Now, he's the patriotic, so I think I'm going to team him up with Mrs. Claus with her jacket, you know, and do it as a set. See, because they, when I bought the lots, they were in different boxes. So I will definitely team these up. But if I was to sell him alone, uh, around 60 bucks, okay? All right. And then we have the Nutcracker vendor. And they, he sells pretty well. Nutcracker vendor oh, around, wow. around 69, 70 bucks. Now, also in the same box, and this, this you know, just happened to be the way it, it went, are the couple, the man and woman couple, Yes, each, holding, each holding the nutcracker. So I'm, I'm debating. I got, I'm going to do a little more research if I want to put all three together or just the couple together and then the vendor alone. Probably I'll do this and the vendor alone. I think that, that'll that probably bring me the most money that way. Okay. And then um, just a Victorian mm -hmm. shopper. Pretty basic. But he might bring me around 50 bucks. Around 50 bucks. Okay. All right. So that's everything. So I have... Um, my total money, oh my gosh, where's my paper now? I just wrote this down. Okay, wait, 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 it's not another paper, page. Okay, I spent 274 bucks, and if I got exactly what I just told you all, I would make $1,828, and I spent 274 So, you know, e even if it's a little bit under that, you guys, you can see that the return, you know, is definitely uh, going to be there in... in Um, I, I hope, you know, I'm here. I'm always here to answer any questions on buyers. And I know we have some other people in the thrifting board that are very knowledgeable in um, in, in, in buyers carolers as well. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask us. And, you know, I'll be glad to, you know, go over that with you. And, and again, thanking Debbie for the lead because um, I haven't had this many carolers since I was starting to sell my own. Yeah. You know, Jace, to, uh, to, to put those out there, honey. So, yeah. So there we go. And then tis the season. Get them up now. I mean, Big Daddy's going to have to start taking pictures right away tomorrow because uh, you got to get them up and get them, get them right. No auctions, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no auctions. No, no auctions. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up shows, Seeker Beachcombers, uh, where the guest expert of the month is going to be this Tuesday. I'll, I'll have the um, link up in a little bit. Uh, Rich and Denise have uh, joined, uh, have added me as part of their journey about a year or two ago, Thrifting Board, Seeker Beach, and they're the masters at connecting people and, and getting connections where people just call them and go, hey, you want all this stuff? Hey, you want all this stuff? So we're going to have a conversation with the two of them about, because some of us, oddly enough, me included, don't yeah. like to talk when you're out and about and you're shopping, but if you open your mouth, you might find some awesome things. So we're we'll talking to them Tuesday, uh, six o'clock East Coast, uh, four o'clock, uh, three o'clock on the West Coast. All uh, right, that sounds good. And then right at the end of the month, probably right before Halloween, my webinar for the month. Uh, I'm adding a new business to my uh, already busy schedule, and I need this. Oh, I don't, I don't need you right now, sir. Uh, and I, I need to clean out this room to put the new business in. So it's going to be a kind of a twofold how to uh, suss out new businesses. And this did involve me talking to somebody because I had an idea. And uh, then how do you move 6,000 of anything quickly? That's the other thing. So uh, I'm going to talk about how to how to move and then how to add to your bottom line because it's all about the, you know, the bottom line. Can you make as much money now as possible? Then, then retirement is so much more fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, no show next Sunday uh, at all. Stacey and I will be at a concert in Seattle. Would be a little tough to do a show from a concert. So uh, then we'll be back the following week with uh, Thrifty Business. And please, everybody who has not signed up, please share this with your friends who are new to uh, selling. Uh, the one thing I see all the time is the people who join the Thrifty Board have to answer three questions. And I would say probably one in 10 say, I'm brand new to this. I'm thinking about it. I thought I heard this was a good group. I want to try it out. So all those new sellers, although there's a ton of great content in the thrifting board, they don't have that. How do I start this? And so I thought, 
All right, it's time for a how do I start this class. And the website is super easy to remember to send them to registerforthisclass.com. Easy, okay? So please, please, please share that link with anyone that you know that's new to selling on eBay or that uh, is just thinking about it. Or maybe they started and they're not doing so well. Maybe they're charging $140 to ship one little uh, staircase, okay? So we're going to go over everything you need to start an eBay business, where to find product, how to find product, how to take really good pictures, how to list it, and then how to ship it. Because we all know shipping is the biggest headache, hence the $140 for one little staircase. Okay. So register for this class.com. Hi, honey. Uh, <laughs> get signed up. And please, 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 please take this link and share it on your Facebook and let your friends know if you were ever thinking about starting an eBay business, this is the time to get signed up. It's a free class. Uh, it'll, uh, it'll probably be like an hour, hour and 15 minute class. And then as, as always, I'll answer all Q and a at the end, but this will get you that jumping off point. Now, here's the thing, two things. I've been doing this for 23 years. I had a call at eBay the other day and they said, Oh, congratulations on your 23rd anniversary. I go, Oh shoot. I didn't even realize it was. Wow. So my trials and tribulations don't have to be yours if you're new, because I went through it. I've been through it for 23 years. I'm going to set you in the path where you don't got to go through the hiccups that I went through, that my mom even went through, Yep. <clears throat> because we've been doing this forever. And where I sit right now is a house I own, but I do not live in because it is paid for by my entire eBay business. Actually, it's just by my CDs. But I actually bought an extra house because I do so well selling online that I moved my business out of our house into an empty house. And it's the best business decision I ever made because we're closing in on double what we paid for it, what it's worth. That is fantastic. Now, and I know not everyone's going to do that. Go ahead, Mom. That was, and even if you're a veteran uh, seller, I'm sure what you're going to go over is going, oh, yeah, I, I forgot I, I should be doing that. So this will help us as well, not just beginners. Now, I don't expect everyone to run out and buy a house, but I got to the level where I could. And so that's why I want to teach the new people. Let's start you down the path without the hiccups that we all do when we're by ourselves. Because let me tell you, when I started in uh, 1999, 2000, there was no YouTube. There was no TikTok. There was no Facebook. It was just me in my underwear. Nice visual for you. Figuring it out on my own. And just walking up to the post office and figuring out how to ship. So I can skip all the headaches for you. Easy. Register for this class.com. Please share that for me. If you enjoy this show at all, if you learn anything from this show, do me a favor and please share that on your socials when we're done tonight and tell your friends to sign up. It's free. Woo. Can't hate that. Free is good. All right. Each week we have cute and or embarrassing photos of us in our youth. Uh, we call it Mama's Boy, and that's my mama. And being that it's time for Halloween, whoops, yep. <laughs> banner here. Uh, we went with Halloween stuff. So, first up, that's my mama. There you go, people who are afraid of clowns. That's frightening. <laughs> I thought you would enjoy that. I, I think we still have that mask, it's one of my favorite masks. So, we had more fun with that one. Uh, this actually is October of 1973, Jace. Well, it's going back. You're uh, you're just a little whippersnapper yourself of three years old. And uh, this was in our bar, actually, and uh, you can see some of my vintage tin works in the background, uh, which I sold, in the, one of my Coke trays that I sold. And uh, But, you know, always fun, always fun. So I just thought you might enjoy a Halloween shot. Now, we didn't go with a Halloween shot for Mama's Boy, but we did go with a shot that make will make you all go, oh, look how cute Jason was. What happened? Look how adorable I was. That's such a cute picture of you. I love that picture. This is our yard, right? We put yes, it in it corn, is. right? Yep. Uh -huh. yep. uh -huh. Corn and, and pumpkins, obviously. Yep, yep, yep. That's how country we are. We had a cornfield and a Absolutely. pumpkin field in our front of our house. Yeah, and, and Jason, this is uh, October of 74. So you're going to be four years old. Now, I said, oh, I, I have to make this graphic for tonight because look at my haircut. Yes, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, it is the Dorothy Hamill. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <was> great. <laughs> Just great. <laughs> Am I six months old? <laughs> I mean, that, that is identical. Identical. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linnell. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I got a little grizzled. Yeah, well, you know, things change. <laughs> yeah. All right, right. Mom, what awesomeness did you sell? All right, let's try and rip through these because I know we've got, uh, you know, more to go. So, uh, uh, an I Love Lucy t shirt uh, that I paid two bucks for, guys, I sold it for $17.99. You know, and we, I've sold a few t shirts lately, Jay. So all of a sudden, they seem to be, you know, how they kind of cycle it through. Well, all of a sudden, we're getting a few t shirt sales. So, that's kind of nice. Now, the next item that I've had, I've had this for a long time. This is an MTV cassette bag, you know, it holds cassettes, but all of a sudden, I paid a dollar for it. All of a sudden, somebody bought it for full price. And I mean, this is one of my old listings. I probably had it up for three years. But, you know, it does happen. Sooner or later, some of them do, you know, do come through. Uh, I think maybe some of you might remember this. I sold this, uh, showed you this on a haul day. And I did pay for the Beatrix Powder Candy cookie jar. I paid uh, two bucks for that, guys, and sold it for $18 for the full asking price. So that was nice. Nice. Yeah. Now, I... I I think yeah, I showed this on a haul. This was Joe Boo from the from the uh, movie uh, Major League. Yeah, Major League, right, Jason? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he was missing his cigar, and I was going to try and find one. But anyway, I said, I said, oh, let's just put it up, you know, because with the way the season was going, and I put it up. I paid a buck for him. I sold him for the thirty dollars. I mean, you know, missing the cigar. I was shocked, shocked. So you know. I, I was impressed. Okay, this is the that is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Is it stiffle or stifle? Do you know? I oh me, I do not. The lamp, yeah, mom doesn't know either. We paid five bucks for the lamp, and we did take a low uh, offer only because I wanted to get it out of here. I, I wanted some, you know, big stuff to move, and so we took an offer of eighty five bucks, but we only paid five dollars. When did you so, list this? When did I list this? Oh, I don't know. Like a month ago or six years oh, ago? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, maybe spring. Maybe spring. Okay. I'll see. Yeah. Where's your pit collage? Come on now. Oh, yeah. This yeah, this was really on. This was really on, honey. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I was wondering if it was a Debbie Long one. I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, no. Now, <laughs> this, um, yeah, this was the uh, Plasma Luma Source Plasma Light. And I really thought this was going to sell like right away. And it took a while. We paid $10 for it. But we finally got the full asking price of $64.99. Where's your video? Oh, there's no video on this one? Nope. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why it took a while to sell. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't have a video? <laughs> oh, I'm surprised because, you know, Mommy's usually right this up on good, that. This is a hell of a good picture, though, but you don't yeah. have a video. Yeah. Bummer. I'm saying, yeah, I, I totally forgot, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, this little guy. Uh, now that's a great picture. Yeah, doesn't that look really good? Oh, yeah, that looks really, yeah. really good. Uh, I paid three bucks for him, guys, and sold him. I had a lot of offers, a lot of low ball offers, and I waited and waited and waited, and I sold him for the $89. So that was good. Uh, this animated witch, you know, she's she's probably, she's been listed over a year, I think, Jason. Oh, yeah, she's on the red. Oh, yeah, she's been oh, yeah, a yeah, while. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's an old timer that I originally paid two bucks for, and I did sell her for $29.99. You know, somebody came along and said, I need that. So, And I don't think this one has a video, right? Nope, no video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, neither, neither does this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gee, what could this be? This is what? The, uh, M. A. Hadley. M. A. Hadley, uh, the cinnamon sugar shaker, uh, and I did take a best offer on that guy's up to twenty five dollars. Cost me two bucks. Well, I tell you, I've been looking and looking to try and find more uh, Hadley. It's getting tougher, guys. It's getting tougher. I'm down to just a couple pieces left. Um, this is that Suzuki violin that I'm selling for uh, our neighbors, the, the Step Nickies. And uh, we took a best offer of 75. I called Carol and said, look, we've got an offer. What do you want me to do? She says, oh, just just take it. And I said, okay. So we sold it for 75 bucks. Cool. Okay. And then, remember, she had all these Arco cans. And these these cans, Jason, are made out of cardboard. Did I tell you that? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I did. Uh, we sold four cans for $25 and two cans for $15. And I have a total of 18, so I've got a few more to sell for her. So the four and then the two. And then the two, okay. So, yeah, so those are going well. Um, the I've always had good luck with these crayons, everybody. I think you, a lot of you know that. I paid $1 for this one, and I did sell it for uh, $24. Okay, when are you going to get your photographer to take your long skinny things corner to corner? I know, I know. Got, got to do that. I mean, it, it just... When you have bad. skinny things, the first shot, it looks skinny. So yeah. what you do is you do it on the angle... Uh, so yeah. you go corner yeah, yeah, to corner, yeah. right? Right, like right. that. Yeah. So it'll it'll fill the space better. Plus, right. plus every other seller does it like that. 
You're right. So you got to be different. Yep. Got to be different. Good sale. But yeah. Yeah. Go dad, corner to corner. Just just turn okay. your phone just enough. So it goes corner to corner. I will for sure. For sure. Uh, the only reason I put this in, it's not huge money, but I only pay 50 cents. And whenever I sell media, I have to show my son. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. A $10 totally. CD that I wouldn't even picked up in a two seconds. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look at it. And you got 10 bucks for it. Good job. I know. Yeah. Well, you never know. You know? Okay. What? Oh. What? You sold Hadley. What? More, more Hadley, you guys. Uh, the three coffee cups that I paid a dollar a piece for, you know, and I did take a best offer of $50 and 50 cents. <laughs> Can you believe her offer was 50 50? I don't know. That's what it was. Yeah, Tina, if you've got, you know, or anybody, if you've got listings with the old way of videos and you still got the video handy that you could grab it real quick, absolutely put it in the new mm -hmm. way for sure. Yeah. For sure. It's, it's so easy. I mean, it's just so easy now. I mean, my goodness, all that stuff we used to have to go through. Okay, what in the heck with this first picture? Oh, that's a bad picture. You can't even you see what the hell's on. I there. know. A, yeah. I was shocked and saw them. B, I'm like, what? Mom. I know. What? Yeah, that, that was bad. I should have done the front on shot on that one. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. Shame on me. Uh, but it was a Pebble Beach hat that I bought for a dollar and sold it for a best offer of 15. Bye, Debs. Have fun. Yeah. Oh, Debs off. Okay. All <laughs> yeah. right. This, I bought that uh, the next item at the estate sale was that president's trash can. Yeah, that I, yeah. That I only paid two bucks for, and I did take a best offer of twenty-seven. And that's funny. The person that bought it asked me uh, what was the oldest president on there. You know, what from the uh, what year? And uh, I forget what else they asked me. Yeah, that, and and who who was it? So apparently, you must collect trash cans with presidents on them. I don't know. Oh, I sold this. You know, Jason, I almost kept this sucker. I really did like this. <laughs> uh, this was the uh, the Bass and Sea Ale Pub Light. That I paid five bucks for and sold it for seventy dollar. Fun. Yeah, see, that's a cute one, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oops. Yeah. So the, yeah, at least I got my video in on that one for sure. Uh, now uh, Disney Halloween scrub, you guys. Um, I did pay uh, three dollars for it, but I sold it for the full price of twenty four ninety nine. And I have been doing my scrubs with free shipping, um, and that seems to have helped. I'm, I've been moving scrubs up right along, um, you know. But that one happened to go for for good money, so because it was a bigger size too, and that helps. Okay, there you go. How about that big collage? You like it? Very nice. Yeah, that was showing, you know, each side. This this is a Yankee candle, one of those little toppers that you know you put over the candle on the smaller jars. And I paid a whole quarter, a quarter item. And uh, I, I I took a best offer of eleven bucks on that, guys. Okay. And fiber optic uh scarecrow. I didn't I, I it couldn't seem to get more money for this guy. I don't know why, Jason. Uh, I've had it, he was up since last year. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, I only paid two bucks for them, and I finally sold them for thirty dollars. I just could not get the, the 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 money for this particular guy. And I said, well, at this point, you know, I've had a, you know, I knew it was from last last fall, so I said, I might as well just sell it. The way it went. And last but not least, hey, hey, woo, 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 woo. Uh, you know, this is when we took our trip to uh, Frederick, Maryland, with my friends uh, a week ago, what, a week ago, or two weeks ago, I, I guess now, and. Um, we picked this up. Now I did. I paid big money for this, you guys, but I made a hundred bucks. I, I bought it for eighty nine, and it took a best offer of one eighty nine. So, you know, when you if you have to spend big money, because I know you spent bigger money on, on yours. Yep, seventy. And mine's up right now. We were supposed to have them up at the same time, and then and then you go, hey, mine sold already. I'm like, oh crap! Yeah, but, I didn't even list mine. And, and you know, mine went to Canada, Jason. You know, because he he wrote and asked me how much it would have cost to go to Canada, and you know, guys, it was only fifty bucks. It wasn't that bad. It was not that bad. Okay. I, I don't understand your comment, Linda. All videos I put we put up are horizontal. Every video you should take should be horizontal. Yeah, they're yeah. You only shoot them horizontal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't know what you what you're really asking because that's all I ever shoot. So it's mine. Right. All right. I'm gonna I, I, I I've just got a few things for Hall because I knew we okay. were gonna be a, a, a busy busy time. But I'll start with this one. Yes. What is that? Do you want it? Yes. That hair. It's the hair because that's yeah. just crazy. Oh, oh my. Do I put that aside for Vegas? Yes. Yeah. All right. I will. <laughs> but oh, he was free and he, he sells for around 20 bucks. Okay. Is he going to keep going? Down. That's even better. Yeah, he, he does go for quite a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh, Zoe's going to really hate that. Okay, here yeah, is the guardians. The guardians have scored. Yay! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a vintage forty-five uh, our, our record holder. 
Um, nice. so this is one in, in the flower print, you guys. And I paid two bucks for this. Jason, it's got some, got 45s in there. Some of them are very good and old. Um, and, you know, so I'm probably just going to sell the lot because they're kind of scratchy and there's no thing. But look at what one of them is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, even a bag edition Sun, Sun 45s will always sell. Yeah, so, I mean, I still think I should just put everything together and do one price. What do you think? Uh, Probably. Probably, yeah, because, you know, you got, like, Splish Splash, my Barbie Jerry. Okay, so that begs the question, Linda. Why'd you shoot a vertical video? Is that me? That ain't me. Oh, oh Buzz is trying to find my son. I have to decline. Buzz, okay. you know I'll decline it. I, yeah, I did, I did. Yes, okay. He knows I have a show. Gee, my name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go text him right now. Buzz. Yeah, Buzz. Mom's, we're in a show. Um. Anyway, so what the records, maybe what, 35, 40 bucks? Yeah, probably. That's, that's what I, mom was thinking. Okay. All right, then I picked this up at a little little shop. Look at that vintage Pepsi bar. Oh, a little bar mat. I like it. Yeah, isn't that cool? I don't think I've ever seen a Pepsi bar mat. No, before. I hadn't either. It would cost me four bucks, Jason, but I'm going to list this between thirty-five and forty dollars. That's cool. Yeah, and then, I, don't, I don't like Pepsi, but it's cool. Yeah, I, I thought you might like that. Okay, so then we picked this up at a tiny little church flea market. Anybody remember these? You know what this is, Jason? Uh, no. Okay. Paint, paint. It's paint. It is paint, correct. Yeah. And, and the good thing about it, look at the paint. Look at the brushes. <laughs> the yeah. paints are all there but one. But one. The brushes back in here. Uh, we bought it for $5, but these are selling for 50 bucks. Yes. Very, very nice. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad about that. Oh, let me get my, my, my brushes out of the way. Okay. All right, then our antique mall near me was going out of business, everybody. And I picked up this metal file uh, holder. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, and this in this cute. I love the print uh, on it. Yeah. Yeah, and it is metal. It's a mod from the 70s. Uh, I paid five bucks for it, and they're selling for around $40, everybody. Okay. All right. Then I went to a garage sale. And this is new in the package, Jason. Wow. Look at that. Never been taken out. So what, what brand is it? Oh, it's Beerlack. Nice. It's a Beerlack. I know. I know. Um, now, the thing of it is, I mean, here's my question to you. I don't want to really open this up. I mean, I can. It's only a zipper. But I don't, I, I'll never fold it exactly. Like yeah, that's the thing. And I don't know. what. I, mean, yeah, I would just take the pictures as is in the package. Just leave it that way? You think? Yes? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, so I bought them for five bucks, and I'm going to uh, list it for eighty-five dollars. Shoot <laughs> horizontal videos always because oh, it yeah. fills the screen. Vertical only give of the whole screen. Can you imagine if we were in vertical right now, everybody? You you, you wouldn't see anything. Same thing with your stuff. So if your oh. horizontal video shows too much of your junk, find a new spot to shoot your videos. Now, do you want to see the big thing or the heavy thing? <laughs> <laughs> the big thing or the heavy thing? Yes, which they're not like? the same thing. No, but let's see. Oops, that's not what I meant to push. Let's see the big thing. Big thing. Okay. <laughs> Is it big? Is it big? Okay. Oh, it's big. All right. We have a sled. Wood sled. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, see there, it says Davos. Can you see that word? Yeah. Davos. Okay. Oh, uh, that the guy wanted ten bucks. Dad got him down to five, and we're listing this for one hundred and ninety-five dollars. Wow! Yeah, these Davos. Now, sets. if shipping said one hundred and twenty of that, I wouldn't be surprised. No, no, no right? But it, but it won't be. I don't think it will be. You know, I mean, I I, I think we could do this for maybe seventy bucks, maybe. You no, know, on that <laughs> the B seventeen bomber, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're gonna like this, Jason. But it's heavy. It's a and now comes the heavy one. This is the heavy one. Oh. Now, I don't think it's a cart because she's going to pick it up here in a second. <laughs> uh, Rich says, uh, go higher. I'll go higher. Okay. So that is uh, Bombay because I have the butler in my garage. Yes. And so he's the bottle holder for my butler. Correct. He's the bottle holder. Uh, his name is Henry. And we, he was marked 18. This was at a garage sale. I saw the picture in the garage sale. I told them, we got to get there. We got to get there. We got to be the first ones there. And I got them. They, <laughs> they had 18 bucks on it. And uh, I, I said, would you take 12? And she said, yes. And this is, his, his name is Henry. He holds the wine bottle in the arms. 
and uh, we should get around ninety dollars for him, Jace. So that was exciting, you know. Yeah. Yep. So there, there's Henry. Yeah. Uh, there's Henry the Butler, two fifty, uh-huh. and less than two forty, and then there's yeah. Henry the bottle opener. Right. But but they put it at auction. That is not an auction thing. I know. I know. I mean, and and and, and you have to take the picture of the bottle holder with a bottle. Yes, absolutely. And then just put absolutely. bottle included. And, and but, he's, only, he's only like 19 inches high, so he's not one yeah, of the big you, you, you can't sell a bottle holder out him holding the bottle. That's right. Whole, you know, you got you to gotta show it. You got to show well, it. I mean, that's the purpose of, of, of the item, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Raise the roof. <laughs> so I, I hope um, that I've helped you again on your buyers, everyone. And uh, just you know, let me know if I if I can help anyone. I'm here. Do not hesitate. Uh, private message me if that's easier for you to do it that way. Um, you know, I'm up late. A lot of times I'm answering a lot of you late at night, so you know, no biggie. I'm uh, I'm a night owl most of the time. <laughs> All right, don't forget register for this class. Super easy to remember. I Later did. on, when you're not watching this, you're like, what's that? Oh yeah, register for this class. Super duper easy. Please do me a favor and put it on your Facebooks. Let your friends know who are just thinking about starting their eBay business. Yeah. This will be just eBay uh, focused. I mean, of course, we then will talk down the road about, you know, Amazon, Macari, whatever else. But, you know, I, I think the 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 gateway is always eBay. It, yeah. it has the, the, you know, outside of Amazon, it's got the biggest customer uh, database. It's got, it's in the most countries. And so it's always, you know, start with the granddaddy. It's yeah. and, and and the granddaddy is more complicated so if you can if you can conquer the granddaddy eBay, you can conquer everything else because everything else is pretty easy compared to that. So register for the class, please. Let your friends know, oh. and uh, uh, we will. That class will be in three weeks. Well, we have to get together. When are you coming? Let me know. Uh, okay, Lynette. Me- message her, Linnell, and well, uh, yeah, absolutely. Let me know. I, I, we will be glad to. Absolutely, you bet. All right, there we okay. go. All right, so don't forget, no show next week. Stay now. Be at a concert in Seattle, and then we'll be back the following Sunday with Thrifty Business. And I already got so much cool stuff to share with you from the past week of things I sold. Ooh. I'm having a kick-ass weekend right now. Nice. And I uh, got all kinds of cool things going on here. So uh, we'll see you in two weeks. So for all selling right. past your expiration date, being Thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Go Guardians. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye.